Hey everyone, it's Chris again. Excited to tell you about Appease the Spider. It's coming out. It has come out 10 minutes ago. I pushed the button. It, by now it should be available. I'll leave a link in the description. Guys, please leave a review for this game. Even if it's a single word, it really helps the outreach and it helps the algorithm with people trying to find the game. Even if it's a negative review, it still helps the algorithm because it counts as an interaction on the store page. And one of the things I've noticed about some of my other games that I've delivered is that early on I did not have enough interactions on like launch day, which really hurts. And then later on it would it would still do well over time, but it's that initial week when everyone in the world who owns a Steam account who searches under horror can find this game. That's when I need the interactions. Um, and, you know, obviously when I do like a... Uh, um, discounts and stuff on games they get more interactions too but nothing compares to that first week of launch so if you guys do anything for this game if you're gonna tell me what you think about this game please just do it in a review and it could be negative it could be positive doesn't matter it counts as interaction thank you thank you thank you if you do that now i am obviously um not thinking to myself this is some multi-million dollar you know uh game that's gonna make me rich or something that's not the intent here i made this game for fun for you guys who asked for it because so many people have messaged me both publicly and privately that they just wanted to be able to play the game that they played on their Xbox now I tried to be as faithful as I could to the original concept I did not feel that the stop motion animations in the original game really did justice to what a piece of the spider was meant to be this game is what it was meant to be and it wasn't until I got into 3D graphics and got past the 2D stuff that I could really implement it. And what I've basically done is created a character that can walk around a house, look at his pad in his hand, his electronic pad, because of copyright issues, can't call it an iPad. <coughs> he looks at his pad and he can, he can look at security systems and see where guys are. The only game that really comes close in terms of concept is Phasmophobia, where you could potentially have people place cameras around a building or look at CCTV cameras anyway. Um, it's kind of like that. You walk around the house, you find out where the bad guys are, you hopefully account for all of them, and you start to learn like where blind spots are and you know where you can guess they might be if you can't find them on the cameras. But then you plan your route, like, okay, I'm going to run to this room and grab the plunger, and I'm going to run to this room and grab the coffee pot. And um, you're probably going to end up using those in the reverse order. But... The whole idea is that you run around the house trying to find items and you use the cameras to give you more information. You can play the game without the cameras. It's very hard. Uh, it's borderline impossible because you can't predict like a ghost just suddenly coming through the door and getting you. Um, but it is possible. And in the original game, that wasn't possible. So I think I've, I've made the game um, into what it was originally meant to be. And I think I've stayed true to the original enough that people who enjoyed that game are going to like this one. But it's also so different that it'll appeal to a wider audience. Um, so all that word soup aside, I really appreciate you guys, you know, following me all this time. I know I was gone for a while and then I made this game. I'm working on Scarlet the Zombie Slayer. I'm uh, uh, looking into a lot of things I can add to the game beyond the original concept. And uh, I'm looking into like an open world and maybe things like fast travel and, you know, a less linear uh, questing system. Uh, so I'm looking into all those things, and I'm working on it, and I'm really excited about it. So stay tuned to the channel. Uh, I hope that you play a piece of spider. You don't have to, but if you do, buy it. If you do take the time to buy it and play it, please leave a review. It's so helpful. Thank you so much, guys. See you on Discord. Um, I might start streaming on YouTube on the weekends and try that instead of Twitch just for a little bit, you know, A-B testing, see how it goes. All right, good luck and have fun.